Oh, there you go. There's one of them. It's eating right now. They're not going to do a bit of harm to your plants. But aphids, on the other hand, don't stand a chance. In our battle against these aphids, it is all hands, or should I say, all legs on deck. It's so cute. For those of you coming back to our channel, we'd like to welcome you back. And for those of you who are new, well, welcome just in general. Guten yardening, everybody. For the past couple of weeks, we have been fighting against an aphid infestation. And our treatment of diatomaceous earth has been very helpful and we've seen some really good results. But we wanna make sure that we get as many of these aphids out of here as possible so we have a biological control that we're gonna put in place right now. We're going to return to one of the treatments that we know has been effective for us in fighting aphids in the past and that is ladybugs or ladybirds. There are plenty of places you can find online to buy ladybugs. These just happen to come from naturesgoodguys.com. And one thing you have to know from the very beginning if you're planning to use ladybugs is that you need to get them into the location where you're planning to let them go as quickly as possible. And up to that point, once they arrive, you need to keep them refrigerated. They come in a slower sort of dormant state, but as soon as that temperature starts to rise, they start to move around. Prior to our application of diatomaceous earth, there were aphids all over our kale, our radicchio, and our Paris Island cos lettuce. And if you look closely, you can see, and I've just sprayed this down with a little bit of water, but those aphids are primarily gone. Now, while the diatomaceous earth has been a great success so far, one of the limitations of the DE is that it's not mobile. I mean, once you've sprayed the powder down, well, it's not going anywhere. And so you have to keep reapplying washing off, reapplying, and you get some aphids like the ones that have escaped over here and aren't covered in powder, and they're going to live, they're gonna survive, and we don't want that. With the DE, it's also possible to miss some of the spots that you're trying to hit. Like up here on our potato plants, with all these nooks and crannies, you can see that we still have some aphids growing up here. So we want to add a biological element, an element that's going to introduce some life in here that's going to move around and feed until there is no food left. And that for us comes in the form of those ladybugs. Now it may not look like much, but there are actually 1,500 of these ladybugs inside this little mesh container. And you can see if I hold it real still, and I'll come in just a little bit closer, they are really moving around. Now when I pulled these out of the refrigerator just 15 minutes ago, there was hardly any movement. It looked as though nothing was going to be happening. But here they are moving around, warming up. They like a temperature around 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so nice temperature range. And inside this grow tent, it is consistently about 70 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So we've got a great environment in here for them. They're heating up nicely, and they are ready to get out of this packaging. They are hungry. Now you know we're releasing these ladybugs inside of our grow tent, so we're releasing them in a contained space. So we don't have the same concerns that someone would have releasing 1,500 ladybugs outdoors, for example. So releasing in a greenhouse is going to be vastly different than releasing out in our main garden. But one thing still remains the same. We want to spray down, we want to mist the plants and the ladybugs to help them rehydrate as they head off for food. And that's the first thing they're gonna be looking for coming out of that hibernating state. They're going to be looking for food and for water. We've got plenty of food for them. We'll provide the food. So we wanna give them a little bit of moisture as well to help them on their way. And if you look closely, you can see I've also sprayed our plants here as well. Just all the plants in here have a nice mist on them. As you can see, I've also closed up the back door to our grow tent. And so we're going to be in an enclosed area. So it's going to be really important that I get the fan up and running so it doesn't get too warm in here. Now, when it comes to releasing these, I've gone ahead, I tapped them down before I cut a little slit in the top. You can see they are, <laughs> they're ready to come out and ready to go. Now, if you're releasing these outside, it is going to be really important that you're releasing them at night or at dusk instead of in the daytime because they will just fly off right away look at this they're eager oh, they're eager and ready to get in here and eat some food 
but since I'm releasing these indoors in our grow tent, it's not as big a deal that the lights are on. They're not going to be able to seek out anywhere new, and they are crawling everywhere. So I'm not kidding when I say they come out of hibernation really quickly. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to place these on the plants toward the base because they will feed upwards. They'll start at the bottom and feed up. But I want to place them at the base of plants that are really infected. And since we have quite a few of our potato plants, this is probably our area right now with the biggest infection, I'm going to go ahead and let them out, a good number of them out over in here. So we can do this a couple of ways. We can just leave them like this. They will crawl out. They'll find their way down uh, and out pretty quickly. I could also hurry them along by knocking them toward the opening um, as well. I can take them and place them exactly where I want them to be. They're going to enjoy themselves. Oh, we got one up here already. So let's look in and see. I mean, they're crawling around looking for their food. And you should see in here, there's plenty of aphids. So this ladybug is going to be ready to go. So you can see they're already making themselves a home here on our Paris Cost lettuce, looking around to see what's available to them. They have huge appetites and they will keep eating and they will stick around as long as there's food for them. One of the other recommendations we've seen if you're releasing them outdoors is to add just a little bit of honey like on an index card, just something to keep them, something sweet to keep them uh, active and feeding in your space, in your growing space. But again, since we're releasing them indoors, we're not worried about them flying away and they do have plenty of food, at least in the short term. It is possible that you may need multiple applications of the ladybugs, but in this case, I think 1500 is going to do an amazing work in here. Two years ago, when we had a major infestation of aphids, we released ladybugs and those aphids were gone within a few days. So again, this is just another method of control for aphids, a biological method, a mobile method that's going to get at all of those difficult to reach spots that might be challenging for our DE. If you're enjoying this video, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps our channel immensely. Just a few minutes in and they're already hard at work, scoping out these aphids, seeing what's edible. This ladybug looks like it found an aphid and it's already feeding. So we're about five minutes into the release and I would say that well, maybe a third of the ladybugs have found their way out. There's plenty of room down here, plenty of space. Again, I can hurry them along a little bit but I kind of like to let them find their own way as they get out of here. And I can open this up the rest of the way for sure. In terms of natural pest control, these ladybugs are right up there at the top of our list. And they don't just eat and kill aphids. They also work well for other soft bodied insects like spider mites, uh, mealybugs and so on. And so if they're slow moving and they're a pest in your garden, you might want to give ladybugs a try. Now with any infestation, having more than one means of attack against it is not going to be a bad thing. And so we can use this DE as one side, one prong of our attack against the aphid infestation. And we can also then use these ladybugs. And this entrance, this main entrance that I'm at right now is still wide open and there aren't any ladybugs flying out of here. So they're content. Again, I've misted them down. I've misted the plants down. They have plenty of moisture that they can get in here and start accessing right away. And they have more than enough food, which is gonna keep them happy. You know, if there's enough food and they're able to stay alive for long enough, they'll also start mating in here. So realistically, you could get reproduction and increase of the population that you put in here. Yeah, I'm already seeing some ladybugs coming over here on top of these potato plants. You can see one right there. So in the next day or two, we should start to see, again, another decrease in the number of leftover aphids. And I think what we're gonna see, and we come down here every single day, but I think we're gonna see that change, that decrease in population pretty quickly. Look at them, heading up and exploring. They will go everywhere, but they know where the food is. They've seen the food, so they'll be back down. I suppose another question you might have is, well, when they destroy the aphids, when the aphids are gone, and these no longer have food, what's going to happen? Well, in an indoor release, if there's no more food, they will eventually die off, but they decompose rather quickly. 
and you're not going to have any smell or any kind of massive biological waste. They'll go right back into the soil and no problem there. Boy, they are happy to see me. Happy to be free, out roaming, and ready for dinner. This kind of movement is very exciting to me. The more we can do in a natural way, an organic way, to keep our gardens free from those pests, from any infestations, the better off we're going to be. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly remember, when you're with us, <laughs> you are good to grow.